Hi, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's around 5.45 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, October 8th, coming on with the latest on extremely dangerous Hurricane Milton, which is going to start to bring multiple life-threatening hazards to much of the Florida Peninsula starting tomorrow. Uh, Milton has re-intensified this afternoon and is now an extremely dangerous Category 5 hurricane. We've had data from the Hurricane Hunter aircraft in here just in the last hour, uh, indicating that the maximum sustained winds are now back up to 165 miles per hour. The pressure down down to 905 millibars as we've seen this storm intensify. Satellite presentations improving, the eyes clearing out. Milton is moving off to the east northeast now at about nine miles per hour, currently about 475 miles southwest of Tampa. Now, the forecast for Milton has not really changed very much. We're still expecting a powerful hurricane uh, to reach the coast of Florida as we get into the uh, late evening hours tomorrow night or the early morning hours on Thursday. We're still expecting Milton to be a powerful major hurricane uh, as it approaches the coast of Florida, bringing widespread impacts from both wind and storm surge because the wind field of Milton, which you can see down here, the tropical storm force winds, the hurricane force winds are going to about double in size by the time the storm reaches the west coast of Florida as we go through uh, the day tomorrow and into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. So let's start first with the storm surge hazard. We've been talking about this for the last couple days. There's a storm surge warning in effect for almost the entire west coast of Florida from Flamingo up to Sewanee River. We're very concerned about this area from Bonita Beach up to Chasawitska where we could see an excess of five feet above of inundation above ground level. And in this purple area, basically from Pinellas County, Hillsborough County, Tampa Bay, Sarasota, Manatee County, somewhere in this region is going to experience 10 to 15 feet of inundation above ground level. This is destructive, life-threatening storm surge, not a safe environment to stay in. So if you're in one of those storm surge evacuation zones along the west coast of Florida, please heed that evacuation advice. If you've been asked to leave by your local officials, get out as soon as you can. You do not want to be staying in these very dangerous environments. So let's talk a little bit about what that kind of storm surge looks like. So we're talking 10 to 15 feet. So that's well above the height of any person up to the above a one to even getting into the second story of a building. And it's not just the, the water. It's not going to be filling up like a bathtub. This is water that's going to violently be pushed on shore from the Gulf of Mexico with destructive wave action on top of it. And you're going to have structural damage to buildings. Some buildings will wash away. Evacuation routes will be quickly cut off. We've lost people to storm surge in previous hurricanes who are trying to get out at the last minute and they drown in their car. So please do not stay in these environment in this unsafe area. Get out now while you still can. Remember, you only have to drive usually tens of miles, not hundreds of miles to get to a safe location outside a surge evacuation zone. Now let's move on to the wind threat. We talked about how the wind field of Milton is going to double in size, and that's going to bring the risk of uh, damaging hurricane force winds to much of the central and northeastern portions of the Florida Peninsula. We have a hurricane warning in effect on the west coast from Bonita Beach northward to Sewanee River and along the east coast uh, from St. Lucie County up to Ponte Vedra Beach. And that warning also includes inland portions of central Florida, the entire I-4 corridor from Tampa to Orlando to Daytona, Melbourne, uh, down towards uh, St. Lucie, down to Sarasota, down to Port Charlotte, and up north to Ocala, Palm Coast, and St. Augustine. With the potential for devastating wind damage where the core of Milton makes landfall along the west coast and widespread potential for tree damage, winds, uh, wind damage to structures, power lines down, widespread power outages expected across much of central Florida beginning Wednesday night and into Thursday. Uh, again, now let's talk about the rainfall threat. Even though Milton's going to be moving relatively quickly and move across Florida as a hurricane, we're expecting widespread rainfall totals of 5 to 12 inches across much of central and northeastern Florida, near and to the right of the track of the left of the track of the center, near and to the north. Some isolated totals could be right along this I-4 corridor, could see uh, uh, could reach as high as 18 inches. And so there is a high risk of what we call flash flooding. And this is an area here where you see it in pink, Ocala, just south of Ocala, Orlando, Tampa, Sarasota. This is an area where we have the risk of catastrophic, life-threatening flooding, flash and urban flooding due to this heavy rainfall. You will see rainfall occur in places where it does not, and, and flooding occur in places where it doesn't usually flood. In this type of amount of rainfall above 15 inches, you'll see water entering homes and businesses. You'll have evacuations going on. Flooded roads could make travel very dangerous. So again, multiple life-threatening hazards are going to play out across much of the Florida Peninsula as we go through the day tomorrow. Tropical storm conditions are going to arrive on the coastline 
uh, during the day on Wednesday spread inland. Hurricane conditions arriving uh, Wednesday evening and Wednesday night and pushing all the way across the peninsula with that life-threatening storm surge starting to take shape by late Wednesday. So let's touch again on the final talking points for Milton here. We're expecting a large area of destructive storm surge in excess of 10 feet above ground level across portions of the west central coast of the Florida Peninsula. Again, a reminder to those of you in that storm surge evacuation area, please get out if you've been asked to do so. Devastating hurricane force winds are expected along portions of the west coast of Florida near where the eye of Milton makes landfall. There's going to be uh, damaging hurricane force winds, especially in gusts spreading inland across the central portions of the Florida Peninsula and reaching the east coast as well. And there's also the potential again for catastrophic and life threatening flash flooding across much of the central portion of the Florida Peninsula. So please come back here to Hurricane to the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov for the latest on Milton throughout the event. You can find more impacts uh, more information on the local impacts in your area at your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.